What does organized retail crime, a big wheel box, and me peeing in a bottle in my office have in common? Let's find out. Here we go. Okay, so today we are talking about ORC, which stands for Organized Retail Crime. The story today is kind of back in ORC's infancy. It, it was ORC, but we didn't know it was ORC. What is ORC? Or, ORC is kind of like the retail mob. Basically, it's a group of people, usually has a kingpin, and uh, they've got their little disciples, and they either travel up and down the interstate and go from retail to re retail store to retail store, or they'll just stay in their local town and and keep hitting all the stores in that town. And so they just usually run in and grab a bunch of stuff and steal. They're usually in and out very quickly. They take their stuff back to the kingpin. The king, kingpin pays them 50 cents on the dollar, either in money or drugs. He keeps the rest. Sometimes they actually have retail stores, mom and pop shops, either grocery or a regular retail. And everything in these stores are stolen from these ORC groups. And they look completely like normal stores. Sometimes they have an armed guard just in case you're the, the police or the wrong person coming in there. And, and they're very organized. They, they look like beautiful. They're clean. Um, but everything in there is stolen. So again, these are groups that just travel all day long. That's their job is to steal from retailers. And that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about very early stages. Like I said, before we knew what it was, but it definitely was ORC. So we're in Bellevue, Nebraska. And that's where this happened. And... The story starts on a Monday night, and uh, LP that worked for me is now a police officer in this town, which is kind of fitting. He was working LP. He was actually just helping out at the store. So it was his first night here, and he didn't know the camera system very well, which is unfortunate for what's about to happen. So he's watching cameras, and he sees this group of people. I believe there were three of them, and they just started loading up on electronics items, just loading up, loading up. And they went and took a big wheel box. You know, the good old toy big wheel that we used to all ride, or maybe some of you do still ride, I don't know. But it was the big wheel box, and they emptied the big wheel, they dispensed of the big wheel all over the store, and they went and filled that big wheel box full of $1,100 worth of electronics. And so our poor boy, you know who you are, he's here working, he's trying to keep track of all this activity, he doesn't know the camera system very well, which, is, which sucks, especially when such a big thing's about to happen. And normally you'd probably think that these people are going to load up this big wheel box and run out the store that very same evening. So that's what he was thinking was going to happen. So he's really freaking out because he thinks he's going to have to go stop these people and having a hard time following them just because he doesn't know the camera system. So he called me. I felt horrible for him because I could hear the panic in his voice. But he did a great job and he followed these people. And what's frustrating is that our staff did not do anything about these people loading up this big wheel box. It was later at night, and again, it was on a Monday night. At this time, the store closed at, at 10, and I think this was happening around 9 o'clock. But from this point on, when new hires come, came to this retailer here at Shopko, the Shopko Store 45 in Bellevue, Nebraska. But from then on, at every store I worked at, we, we got a little sit-down with the people that started their first day in whatever department they were working at. We got, they got to talk loss prevention, and I brought this story up to all of them and from then on, this was never going to happen again. Because these people just had their way with the store, threw this big wheel all over the place, loaded up all this electronics in the big wheel box, and no one stopped, thought to stop and talk to them and ask them if they need help or try to you know, prevent this theft. So you know, it's very important for employees out there to know that they can be loss prevention too by just offering customer service. But anyway, that wasn't happening that night. So they loaded up the big wheel box, and then they went, they taped it up, they stole our tape, they taped up the big wheel box, and they went and put it back on the shelf. So again, we thought they were going to run out that night, but no, they didn't. They went and put it back on the shelf. So at that point, we knew that they were going to come in and try to buy it. And we didn't know when, but they were going to come and try to buy it. And that big wheel at the time was $29.99. Knowing full well there was $1,100 in that box, so when I came in the next day, I decided we're just going to sit on it. And so I sat in my office all day long. For, the, for that day, I was sympathizing with truck drivers and 
Amazon employees, and I was peeing in a bottle. I was not leaving my office to go to the bathroom. I was not leaving my office to do anything. I was sitting on that big wheel box until these people came back. And I didn't know if it was going to be that day. I didn't even know if it was going to be the same people. And that's the problem with a lot of these ORC groups is if they're smart, they would have sent in different people, and then we wouldn't have been able to prove that they were trying to commit a crime because they could have just been people trying to buy a big wheel box that felt a little extra heavy. But no, these people were stupid enough to actually send in the same three people. Thank goodness. So 2 o'clock in that afternoon, my bladder was very thankful that they came in and they went and grabbed that big wheel. And sure enough, they went up to the registers and tried to buy it for $29.99. So they kept it in the cart. Normally, you know, you put your, your item up on the register belt. They kept their item in the cart and they asked the, you know, they said it was too big to put up on the, on the belt. And so they asked the cashier to just lean over and scan it. Because they knew if the cashier grabbed that box, they'd hear much more than a big wheel inside. So the cashier, being a young cashier, just didn't know any better, leaned over and scanned that box. And sure enough, they bought that big wheel for $29.99, knowing full well what was in it. But luckily, me and my bladder were inside waiting to pounce. And they went to, st they went to leave the store. And I got them. And it was a nice bust. But again, this was the very early stages of ORC, or at least, you know, it was happening all the time. We just didn't really have a name for it. But when I started talking to them and I interviewed them, it turns out that they were doing this every day at Walmart up the street, but they were doing it with baby stroller boxes. And when they came here, they just decided to mix it up. And I did get out of them, and I did believe them that it was their first time trying it here. So luckily, we stopped it on day one. But uh, So they just tried to do it with the big wheel box instead of the baby strollers. But again, there's there's all sorts of different things that these ORC groups will do. But normally they're much quicker than this. They're just in and out, grab and goes. But this group got a little more creative. And there have been a ton of scams out there with ORC groups that I could get into in other videos, but they get pretty creative. The mistake with this group is that they sent in the same three people. They should have sent in somebody else. And how would we have proved that they were trying to commit a crime? Could have just been some innocent people that thought they were getting a big wheel, and then they got home and scored. But they made the mistake, sent those three people in, and we got them. So at the end of my loss prevention career, I was always preaching to other LPs that I trained this ORC thing. you got to watch out for it. And now I think, you know, I've been out of the game for a while, and now I know there's actual just specific groups and companies that specialize in ORC. Um, so it's a big deal. And if you're an LP out there, I'm telling you, ORC is a big problem, and you need to watch out for it. Don't think it's a myth. Don't think it's not happening in your store, especially if you're on a store that's on a easy interstate access, because they will. They'll travel up and down the interstate from state to state all day long and just steal from a retailer, and normally they're in and out before you know it. So ORC is a big deal. Sometimes it's called ORT, Organized Retail Theft. Most people call it ORC, Organized Retail Crime. But this is an example of that here in Bellevue, Nebraska. Again, way back in the day before we really knew what it was. But, um, but yeah, so another happy ending. So, again, watch out. ORC, big deal. Billions of dollars that these people make every year across the world. So, anyway. All right, so that's another one of my tales, another one with a happy ending. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Many more videos to come. We got security tips. We got tech talk, everything tech, and then we've got more crazy shoplifter stories. So until the next one, peace and love.